guys, it's Katie and I'm here today to do a review of Lights Out by Ted Koppel. The book has a longer title. I am not going to say it because I screw it up every single time. So what this book is about, for those of you who don't know, is it's about what would happen in the event of a cyber attack in the, particularly in the United States. Because as we know, hopefully by now, there are a couple of different countries that could get into our grid system very easily. Those are North Korea and Russia primarily. But basically what I learned from this book is there, it was kind of split into different parts. So it talked about, you know, what the problem is, how it's potentially going to be handled or not handled, and then how to survive an aftermath. And it was, frankly, a bit scary because basically what I learned from the book is the U.S. is not prepared for such an attack. Our cyber teams are more equipped to go on the offense than they are to deal with a defense. And so it, it was just very, it was a lot to absorb and understand, um, which is probably why it took me so long to get through it. It's a very um, heavy topic. <laughs> and so basically, it, I liked the writing style. It, it read like a narrative rather than a textbook slash just typical nonfiction story and it probably helps because Ted Koppel was a, and is a really well-known journalist. Research that I went into it was quite detailed and I just I don't know it was really eye-opening and it, he does give some solutions to how to kind of create your own blackout kit, if you will. It's kind of like an emergency kit. This book came out, I think, in 2015 or 16. I don't remember. So maybe they've come up with things since then, but I don't have much confidence in the cyber security team right now. It's scary, especially since we know for a fact that Russia is in our grid and they can just shut it down at any time <sighs> who knows North Korea might be too and we just don't know it yet but we need to be prepared for something like this so I'd highly recommend picking up this book if not just to read the part about like getting an emergency kit together on another note just to bring this up because it was also kind of featured in the book they talked a lot about, well, and which actually surprised me, they talked a lot about um, different communities, such as like the Mormons, for instance, and just how self-sustaining they are and how big they are into like helping just random strangers for the most part. Um, and so, I mean, that was really interesting and I understand why it was in there, but I also just wasn't expecting it. So it just kind of took me a bit by surprise, which I guess is somewhat of a good thing. But um, we could learn something from communities like that because then maybe we ourselves could implement it into our lives somehow. But I really liked it. As I said, I gave it, a, or if I didn't say, I gave it a four out of five stars. Um, and yeah, if you guys have read this book, Please come talk to me in the comments or on social media and because I have a feeling that this is just an important book and an important topic to talk about and discuss. That's pretty much what I've got for you today. So as always, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. I have a Twitter and a Goodreads, which are both linked below. And I'll come back with another video for you guys again soon. Okay, bye!